All right, guys, today I'm talking about Bentley for Men fragrances. I speak a lot about Bentley for Men Intense. If you've been following my channel, you probably see my videos and that fragrance keeps coming up. In fact, recently I ranked it as my number one boozy fragrance. Go figure, it smells great to me. I love wearing it, love the dry down and everything about it. But you know, I don't speak a lot about their other fragrances. Although recently I've been speaking a little bit about Bentley for Men Absolute, but in this video I'm going to talk about five of them, and I'm ranking them from my least favorite to my most favorite. And thanks to the USA distributor of Bentley Fragrances, we do have one full bottle giveaway for subscribers of this channel from the USA. So if you want to find out about Bentley for Men Fragrances, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, today I'm talking about Bentley for Men Fragrances. Bentley uh, is a fragrance brand or house I discovered going back to 2014. And uh, I first bought a bottle of this, Bentley for Men Intense. Um, prior to this, I had sampled fragrances, Olfactive Studios, Chambre Noir, and also Luban's Idole. So the, the, the uh, information I read about this uh, that it was a combination of those two fragrances. But, you know, when I got it, it did remind me of those two fragrances, and it was a, pretty much a love at first sniff, uh, totally blind. So I've been a fan of this one since then. But, you know, I never really reached out to their other fragrances, except most recently I spoke a little bit about Bentley for Men Absolute. So today I'm ranking five of their fragrances, and I'm going to tell you all about it. But before I get to the ranking, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and or you haven't subscribed yet, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So a couple of little information before I move forward with the list, just uh, to let you know, yesterday I did a video of top five Dior Privé Maison Christian Dior fragrances video. If you haven't caught that, please do. Today is, of course, the Bentley fragrances ranked. Tomorrow I have another ranked video with also another giveaway for Saffron Bon. And then finally, on Friday, I have another sort of ranking preview of a house video with uh, another giveaway. So I hope you guys tune in. And also stick around till next week. I got a new series uh, that's starting that I'm going to try and do once a week of long format videos with lots of different topics topics in one video, so you guys uh, stay tuned for that. But let's move forward. I'm going to go ahead and start the list with the first fragrance that I'm putting at number five, and this is Bentley for Men Black Edition, this one right here. So this is a fragrance that was launched in um, 2018. Uh, the concentration is Eau de Parfum, and the perfumer is Dorothy Pio and it's considered a woody spicy. Now all the fragrances that I'm going to talk to you about today are Eau de Parfum except the one that comes after this is an Eau de Toilette. They all retail for 100 ml bottles for $100 and I have a link to So Avant Garde, the distributor of uh, Bentley fragrances and you can buy the fragrances there if you're curious. The link is in the info box. So with Bentley for Men Black Edition, I felt like this was my least favorite of the bunch. You know why? It's not because uh, of um, what happens with the fragrance. I just didn't care for the initial blast. I felt like the initial blast was very, very typical of other men's designer fragrances, you know? It smelled like a lot of other fragrances. But once I kept wearing it, I started noticing some unique things happening with it. But, you know, in the end, it wasn't, you know, that wow kind of fragrance. But thankfully, the initial blast, you know, fizzled away or wore off and I was left with something, you know, sort of uh, great to wear. The fragrance features notes of violets, papyrus, oak moss, tangerine, pink pepper, tobacco, cedar, patchouli, incense. So those are the notes that you uh, experience with this one with a very prominent violet and papyrus note together with oak moss with light citrusy touches of the tangerine. But the fragrance for me was not one of those fragrances that I go, wow, that smells great. It was, you know, okay, you know, it just wasn't doing it for me to make it like be, oh my god, this smells great, I keep wanting to wear it kind of a thing. So in the end, it's a woody fragrance, very, very earthy and also very, very powdery. Just know that violet as a flower can go powdery. This is not the violet leaves, which goes ozonic. The next fragrance features violet leaves, which does go ozonic. Violets as a flower does go powdery and you do experience it here. But for me, the violets um, in this one, 
it didn't smell too much like violet candy, which I'm used to. It's it's there, you can pick it up, but it's not overly intense. So it's almost kind of like a diet violet. Does that even make sense? But you know, it's almost like you're experiencing the violet as a smell, but it's hints rather than full on in your face violets. That's just how I'm experiencing this uh, particular fragrance. You might experience it with a full on in your face violet, but I don't get a lot of violet even though it's there. It's almost like, just as I said, like the, the, the smell has kind of been stripped away kind of thing, you know? Uh, that's what I'm experiencing with this one. That's why it's ended up at number five. I like it, I don't love it, and it deserves to be in this particular position. So that is number five. It's Bentley for Men Black Edition, which launched in 2018. So uh, if you guys are curious, do check it out. Alrighty, at number four, we're going with Bentley for Men Azure. So this is the only eau de toilette fragrance in the entire five I'm speaking about today. So it's the same price, 100 ml for $100. And again, as I said, they are available at So Avant Garde. I have a link in the info box. You can click there to find out and learn about uh, this fragrance and the other Bentley fragrances I'm gonna speak about. But anyway, Bentley for Men Azure 2014 launch is an eau de toilette concentration. The perfumer is Mathilde Bujau. It's considered a woody aquatic and the price Again, is a 100 ml bottle for 100. Uh, so this one actually is ozonic. It's very, very full of violet leaves. So there is a crisp, crunchy quality about this one. And though once it contrasts with a T note, uh, you've got the crisps, crispness, you've got the crispness and you also have the softness from tea. Because for me, I experience tea as a soft note and I experience a violet leaves which goes ozonic as a crisp note, almost like crisp cucumbers. So that's uh, kind of what stands out for me. And then in the background, there is this like kind of a like sweet fruity pineapple notes, the note that's screaming in to come through and kind of like mingle with the, the tea and the violet leaf. So Bentley for Men Azure features notes of violet leaves, tea, pineapple, tangerine, bergamot, cashmere wood, tonka beans, lavender. So those are what's standing out for me in this particular fragrance. It's an overdose of freshness and it's also an overdose of uh, ozonic touches. Um, so ozonic touches tends to be kind of wet, watery, just visualize the inside of a cucumber. That's the kind of experience I get with ozonic fragrances and usually when fragrances use cucumbers in their notes, um, they tend to go ozonic as well. But in this case, ozonic is achieved from the violet leaves. And every time I experience violet leaves and fragrances, the experience is ozonic. And then of course, I always visualize or think of cucumbers because they kind of have a similarity to me. So it's very, very fresh. It's ultra overdose of freshness with aquatic and ozonic touches. You do experience aquatic touches, but this one does not does not necessarily go ultra aquatic, like marine or fish or something like that. You can get hints, hints of that in the background. But there's some uh, citrusy touches here, of course, and there are some slight fruity and sweet touches with um, this particular fragrance. I feel like it's a, a fun fragrance to wear, not overly anything uh, groundbreaking, uh, in fact. Uh, I felt like none of the fragrances uh, that I've spoken about so far are overly groundbreaking. Uh, this one I felt like it was a little more interesting even though it smelled very very common to other designer fragrances than the previous fragrance I discussed. And I do want to mention even though I don't know what this f smells like, the remainder of the fragrances I have uh, names of other fragrances that these fragrances remind me of. And this particular fragrance reminds me of Azaro Chrome. Not a clone or identical. It hints at it. And I, God, I don't remember the last time I wore Azaro Chrome. I know I wore it in the 90s, the mid 90s. And I think in the early 2010s, I had a bottle as well that I had found at a discounter for really inexpensively. Expensive, inexpensively. So it was a good uh, kind of a throwback to that particular fragrance. Um, this doesn't go metallic like Azaro Chrome does, so there is that difference. But in the background, it reminds me of Azaro Chrome. I don't know if you guys are fans of this particular fragrance. Let me know, but that's my thoughts on Bentley for Men Azure. Just going back to this one once again, as I said, Bentley for Men Azure reminds me of Azaro Chrome. This one didn't remind me of a single fragrance, but it hinted at a lot of like uh, very, very, uh, you know, 
available men's designer fragrances that you would find at um, uh, you know Macy's counters and things like that. That's the initial blast with this. But as it wore off, you know, the, the initial blast wore off, I got to experience some more unique, uh, interesting things with the violet uh, note in here, which went powdery. All right, now that I've spoken about two fragrances, the third one, the number three on the top five Bentley for Men fragrances is uh, Bentley for Men Silver Lake. So this is a 2020 launch. This is the most recent launch out of all the fragrances I'm speaking about today. This is a Eau de Parfum Concentration, uh, and it retails for $100 for 100 ml, and as I said, um, you can uh, click the link to So Avant Garde and discover this and other Bentley fragrances. So this one actually, I really love its uh, crisp freshness. Um, it doesn't have the crisp that this one does. I don't get the cucumbery touches. This one actually for me it's a crisp citrus with uh, aromatics. So, so the two together gives me a metallic touch. Uh, so as I was speaking about metallic with Chrome with Zaro, I get the metallic touches from that fragrance in here but it doesn't smell like um, Chrome, Azaro Chrome. It's a different kind of um, uh, a hint that I'm going to get, and I'll let you know what that is at the end. But with this one, it's ultra fresh. It's very, very fresh and crisp, uh, and I like that. It's a big blast, and it's kind of like you know wakes you up, wakes up your senses because it's just really, really upliftingly fresh. You know. So this one has notes of lemons, mint, amber wood, violet leaves, lavender, white musk. So. I like the bottle. I, you know, I like these bottles a lot. They're kind of uh, unique to this particular brand, and I like the whole silver, silver uh, look of this, uh, even, you know, especially the, for the fact that it's called Sir, Silver Lake. Um, just a great smell. Uh, it's not number one. Uh, it's also not uh, necessarily an original smell. I've smelled this before. Uh, it reminds me of a fragrance, but I just enjoy its whole aromatic crispness with the citruses. It's just an overdose of uh, citruses overdose of um, aromatic notes and the two together generally tends to create this like a metallic quality sharpness there is a sharpness with this fragrance so when you're wearing it you experience it but it's just as i said it's very very uplifting and very very waking up of your senses so in the mornings if you can't wake up rather than going for coffee maybe spray a couple of the sprays of this and then you'll it'll wake up your senses you know but I, i'm enjoying this one i quite like it it's it, it, it'll, it'll become like a dumb reach kind of a fragrance you know it's uh, kind of like the Aventus or something like that it's just fresh and refreshing you just spray and go kind of a thing because you know as I said it's been done before but I quite like this particular version of this particular fragrance it reminds me of it hints at Aqua de Joe fragrances so um, one last thing I should mention about this one it is aquatic this one I get more aquatic touch than Azure uh, and on me it does smell a little more marine but it doesn't go to the extent of uh, making it smell kind of bad because I have a, a really kind of a, a difficult time with like overly uh, marine or f fishy sea smelling fragrances and this one almost comes close but it doesn't uh, because I think the whole metallic touch with the contrast of the the herbs uh, aromatic notes with the citruses kind of kills the the marine uh, you know features of the fragrance even though I'm experiencing it anyway this is a great scent I like it nothing original but it wears great on me and that is Silver Lake from Bentley Bentley for men's Silver Lake and that is at number three. So the next fragrance I'm going to talk to you about at number two is Bentley for Men Absolute. So this is the one I spoke about recently in a couple of different videos, and I'm quite liking this one. And what I like about this one, it's completely different from anything else I've spoken about today. This is probably the most potent out of all the fragrances I'm going to talk to you about today. It is like an overdose of woods, like really, really intense, deep, rich, thick woods you know it's an overdose of woods so this one is Bentley for men absolute it's released in 2014 Eau de Parfum concentration and this is uh, created by Michelle Almarac it's considered a woody spicy fragrance and 100 ml bottle as I said is hundred dollars all these are the same price and all of them are available for purchase from So Avant Garde at the link in the info box so what I like about this one is its smoky woodiness in the uh, in addition to the zingy spiciness from ginger with the the whole papyrus note and this is a note that's 
very mysterious note for me. I love the way it smells, but I have the most challenging time explaining or describing this particular note. I think up until the point that I can actually physically hold this particular note in my hands and smell its like original form of it, uh, I will be able to explain it a little more. But for now, it's here. You can smell it. It's obvious. Uh, very, very prominent in this fragrance, but um, it's a little difficult to explain exactly what it smells like. For me, it's like papyrus almost smells like a cross between patchouli, vetiver, and woods together. That's my explanation of this note. But with this Bentley for Men Absolute, it features notes of cedar, olibanum, pink pepper, papyrus, oud, sandalwood, ginger, amber, and oak moss. And as I said, it's an ultra woody, spicy experience. That's the style of this particular fragrance. We can go to the extent of calling it an oriental woody. I don't think it really... Um, goes into the oriental direction so much even though it has ambery touches you experience it but for me it's more of the woods and the spices together the woods and the spices together is basically running the show here so it's overdose of spiciness and there's you know resinous touches and smoky touches from the olibanum note uh, in here as well so olibanum is a resin and it's um uh you know kind of like a church uh, incense or frankincense similar to uh or exactly the same type of a so the whole combination is great and once again this one reminds me of other fragrances uh, for the fact that it's created by Michel Almarac he created two other fragrances Gucci Pour Homme which is discontinued this is a very similar to that and also his other brand with his sons Parlez-moi de Parfum a papyrus oud he created for that particular brand so the fragrance reminds me of those two fragrances and if you've been uh, seeking to find that fragrance this is a great alternative anyway great scent really really great it's not my number one but a really close to uh, number one but you know the reason this one doesn't make it at number one i kind of prefer a little sweeter fragrances and this experience is a lot colder for me uh, it's a lot colder for me it's a more of a fresh spices rather than warm spices which the next fragrance is going to be ultra warm for me and the reason i don't call this an oriental spicy because oriental fragrances tend to go warm this one doesn't go w too warm for me and so i'm calling it a woody spicy either way that's bentley for men absolute at number two and last but not least can you guess my number one you probably already know if you know my channel it's bentley for men intense this is an absolute dream of a fragrance and as i said my number one boozy fragrance because the more i wear it the more it dries down on me the more i smell my fragrance off of me when i'm moving around the more i really end up loving this one and as i said this is the first and only fragrance i had bought from this brand for the longest time and i absolutely love the way it smells it does remind me of luban's idole uh, in you know fused with uh, studio uh, olfactive studios chambre noir so there is that similarity but it doesn't remind me of just one or the other it reminds me of the two together it's almost like taking those fragrances and combining them to create this fragrance sort of a thing but either way this came out in 2013 it's an eau de parfum concentration natalie lorsan is the perfumer for this one and it's an oriental spicy fragrance 100 ml for 100 dollars and again as i said it's uh, available at so avant garde i have a link in the info box and this one I can definitely call it an oriental spicy because you have those sweet notes in here and it's definitely wa much warmer for me as a wearing experience in comparison to a Bentley for Men Absolute. This one features notes of incense, leather, benzoin, rum, black pepper, patchouli, woods, cinnamon, cedar, bay leaf. What a gorgeous fragrance it is, you know? How many of you are fans of this? Let me know. Put a comment down because I hear negative things about this one too. It's either almost like polarizing it's either a love it or a hate it but i feel like there's more love for this one than hate um uh, this particular fragrance it's ultra boozy the the rum is pretty prominent and i do experience it and rum along with benzoin and cinnamon and um these notes definitely are warmer notes and that's why i give this one a much of uh, appreciation because i personally prefer to wear warmer fragrances in comparison to cold fragrances Maybe because I'm a warm person, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, this one's a heavenly a fragrance for me. It smells great. I think it's one of the best fragrances that you can buy from Bentley, and I highly recommend it. Now, some of you might prefer Bentley for Men Absolute more. You might not like warm fragrances like I do. I'm a big fan of Orientals and warm, spicy, ambery fragrances. Definitely this one's ambery, very, very boozy, very woody. 
smoky, leathery, you know, all those come to mind. This is a favorite of mine. So that's Bentley for Men Intense at number one. And now that you've seen all the fragrances I'm speaking about from the Bentley for Men collection, how would you rank this list? Put a comment down so I can find out. It probably is different. Maybe not. Maybe you haven't tried these fragrances. If you haven't, which one sounds great to you for you to try now that you've watched this video? And then now for the giveaway, thanks to the folks at the fragrance group or So Avant Garde who is sponsoring this giveaway. Please put down what you liked about this video. Please put down which of the fragrances you would pick if you won. That's the fragrance you are going to get if you are the winner. And lastly, I'll comment down with uh, where you're commenting from, the state. So this is a USA giveaway. The distributor fragrance group, So Avant Garde, is only uh, doing business in the USA, so they can only sponsor for the USA. But if you have a way for someone to collect your package here in the States, you can definitely participate. Um, uh, lastly, please like this video as well so that you can qualify. As I said, I haven't done much giveaways this year yet. Starting now, we're going to have lots of giveaways. Uh, please make sure I can see that you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, YouTube now has a feature for me to select uh, commenters that publicly subscribe to my channel. So going forward, whoever ends up winning, uh, the you know the prize I double check to make sure that they are definitely subscribed to the channel anyway thanks so much for watching today's video on Bentley for men fragrances if you have any questions or comments uh, please list below please stay tuned for two more videos uh, coming up after this tomorrow and Friday with giveaways uh, they're uh, all USA giveaways unfortunately uh, because of the brands and the distributors who are sponsoring them uh, other than that guys I appreciate you tuning in please like this video please share it follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.